Public use was at the heart of talks about the proposed Bayside Central at the DPC earlier today. Giving Mediterranean Plaza vibes, architects discussed plans for an area in between the six residential buildings, which would see restaurants and retail units fully accessible for the public to use. Parking would go on two levels underground, subject to soil assessment. If this parking was not possible, then plans would have to change. Back in April, we spoke to residents of the area. Views and disruption were the main concerns. As we know, you're never guaranteed a view in jib. But what about disruption? This is an area with lots of potential developments, including the proposed Marriott Hotel, as well as the tower block on the site of the current Devonport buildings. Where I'm standing could look a whole lot different in a few years' time. Architects said they need to look at these proposed buildings to see how they would impact plans for Bayside Central. Ocean Spa residents were particularly concerned about the gap between their building and the Bayside development, as well as the height of the nearest block. Developers say the space left exceeds minimum regulations and that the residential levels would be set back as they are in Ocean Spa, leaving a space of 12 metres. In response to queries raised, developers said they will undertake a traffic impact assessment and create a plan to manage any disruptions to both vehicles and pedestrians during and after the construction phase. They also said they intend to respect the new cycle lane as much as possible. Developers say the project is set to be energy efficient. The buildings will also incorporate green areas and a stepped design to increase daylight and ventilation. The architects say their design for Bayside Central is not just for their clients, but for the whole city. Nine members of the DPC voted in favour of the development with one against. The application has therefore been given outline planning permission subject to conditions.